The end of the coronavirus quarantine in Japan is now adding new uncertainty to the outbreak that started in China and is now spread around the world. This morning, hundreds of passengers were allowed to leave a cruise ship where more than 600 other people have gotten sick. Now, that includes 79 cases that were confirmed just today. More than 1,800 people have died from coronavirus illness, nearly all in China. That's out of more than 73,000 confirmed cases. Deborah Pata is at the port of Yokohama, Japan, where that cruise ship docked more than two weeks ago. Deborah, who are the people getting off the ship? Well, over 500 passengers have been left off the Diamond Princess. They tested negative for the virus, and more will follow in the next few days. There are still over 100 Americans either in hospitals or on board the ship. They've been banned from entering the U.S. for 14 days after their quarantine or hospitalization ends. Japan has been criticized by some medical experts who say their quarantine methods led to a further spread of the virus. But community health director Dr. Shigeru Omi has documents from the Ministry of Health showing most of the transmissions occurred before the quarantine began. There's always a delay, sometimes one day, two days, or sometimes well, even one week or two weeks. So should they not have tested everyone right at the oh, beginning? Oh, well, it takes something, but it takes uh, six hours. Omi says it is a dishonest disease because it's often transmitted asymptomatically. I could be totally overwhelmed and gnash my teeth and scream and cuss and cry, but, wow, if that's really what it's going to be, then... Um, then that's what it's going to be. Jerry Jorgensen from Utah is one such patient. Hospitalized on Valentine's Day, she tested positive but has had none of the symptoms of the virus. Already over 300 Americans on board the ship were flown back to the U.S. on Monday. They are in quarantine around the country to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the U.S. Like Cheryl and Paul Molesky, who are at Lackland Air Force Base near San Antonio, Texas. CBS News spoke to them as health officials from the CDC checked their condition. We're with CDC. We're just coming around to do your nightly temperature checks and ask about symptoms. The Molesky's were transported from Japan on a plane with other evacuees, some who were at a higher risk for having the virus. Truly horror, to tell you the truth. It was a nightmare. So we were sitting with sick people. And the restrooms were behind that. So you had to walk by all the sick people to get your food or get to the restroom. Now another cruise ship, the Westerdam, is raising alarm bells in Cambodia after an American woman who tested positive for the virus only after she had disembarked. There are still around 200 Americans staying in hotels in Phnom Penh. U.S. officials are tracking them and another 100 on board that ship. Tony? Deborah Pattis for us in Japan. Deborah, thank you very much.